Can I have a word with you, son? Any time you like, Moon. <laughs> well, look, don't take this the wrong way, but I was wondering if you would mind, possibly, just backing off a bit. From you? From me and from the Earth. OK. Might be tricky. Uh, why, though? Well, it's just the Earth and I are getting on really well at the moment. Oh, yes? Yeah, we've got this shared interest in tides. And... <laughs> The thing is, when you come round every day, it's making me look a bit bad in comparison. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, there I am, shining my hardest, illuminating everything, and you know what they call it? Night. Oh, dear. Uh, so, let's see if I've got this straight. You want me to back away from the Earth, leaving the Earth where it is? Please. And you want me to stop coming round the Earth so often? Would you mind? I, I just think it would make me look better. Uh, leaving aside certain practical difficulties, better in what way? Well, you know, brighter. Oh, I see. You want me to go further away so that your light, the light you shine, will seem brighter. Yes. Is that so hard? It's quite hard. <laughs> Look, it's just when I'm compared every day with a vast miasma of incandescent plasma like you, I can't help feeling a bit... Eclipsed. <laughs> I knew you weren't fine with that. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? No, I am fine with it. It was funny. Hey, Earth, look, look, I'm as big as the sun. Oh, it was a funny joke. <laughs> yeah, because it's so untrue. So untrue. Yes, I know. But anyway, look, I'd like to help. I'd be quite happy to move away, leave you and the Earth where you are and let you beam forth your powerful moonlight in peace. Oh, thanks. I just don't think it's possible. Not possible? No, sorry. Right, fine. No worries. Stuck up sod. <laughs> Thinks the world revolves around him. 